This is Mark Campbell. Hello, Mark Campbell. Hi, Michael Barrett. How are you? Great. Um, I'm so pleased and, and thrilled that you've been able to write a new script, a new libretto <laughs> for The Soldier's Tale. Tell us about this piece. It's 100 years old. Well, 101 years old now. Yeah. It was written by Stravinsky. And the original is in French, right? Correct, yes. So what have you done to this old French <laughs> tale? <laughs> well, the original is written by Charles, Charles Ferdinand Ramuse. Um, and it's a very important work, as we know. It's, 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 um, everyone knows about L'Histoire de Soldat. Um, but often, lately, I think the suite has been favored in performance over the whole piece because the narration doesn't quite work. It doesn't quite reach a modern audience. Uh, the original was in French. The translations aren't so great. Um, they tend to be ponderous. They tend to be overly rhymy. Um, just they don't, they don't bring in an audience. They don't engage an audience for me. The other aspect of that story is that it was all told by a narrator. And what a narrator does is it uh, puts a distance between the story and the audience. And so you never can quite get into the original story because the narrator comes on and says, and then this is what happened, and then this is what happened, and now I'm going to play that character. And it's a, for me, it's an odd mix. So one of the things that you and I decided early on was, let's get rid of that narrator and make it a true story told by the soldier, the princess, and the devil. Um, they don't self-narrate. We're in a story, and it's a story that I think um, modern audiences around the world, I hope, um, mm -hmm. will feel engaged with. Tell me about um, the story itself. It's kind of an old Faustian tale about selling your soul to the devil, right? Yeah, I mean, you could say a fusty, fusty Faustian tale. Um, <laughs> um, it, yeah, it is about selling the, your, your soul for the, to the devil. Um, but I wanted to go a little bit deeper than that. Um, it's also, for me, a story about a man who comes back from war, had certain dreams that he thought he was going to achieve in his life, and never achieves them, um, mostly because he comes back from war, he's forgotten at war, and he decides that he's just going to make money. He's just going to make a lot of money, and that's kind of the Faustian bargain, of course. I wanted to find something that was maybe a little bit more poetic in this story about this man who um, he, he goes to war, he comes back from war, he's forgotten, he decides to go and make money and that's all he's going to do, and then he discovers that there is no joy in collecting things and owning and things and, and material goods, and he decides to just leave everything and kind of travel around, he sells all of his goods, he's down to his last dollar, and he goes to a village in middle Europa, um, where he meets, he hears that there is a young princess who um, is, cannot wake up, that stays all day in bed. She has a, it's a real ennui. Um, <laughs> and, um, <She's... laughs> ennui. Um, and she um, can't get up and he decides to rescue her by playing his fiddle. And I use the word fiddle in this. Uh, it's, it's usually called a violin, um, but I decided it's American. I've said it post-Civil War. And so it's a fiddle. Great, same instrument. Yeah. So, and the fiddle is the thing that he ends up selling to the devil, right? Yeah, but the fiddle represents his soul, the beauty of his soul. Yeah. Um, it, it is all that, that enriches someone. And once again, we could, you could view this story as the power of music and how music ennobles us and enriches us. Um, it certainly does Joe, the main character of, of this story. Wow, that's my, my kind of story. I can't wait to see it. Thank you so much for creating this new piece. We look forward to seeing you in Moab. I know, I'm really excited to go there. It looks so beautiful and it's honestly my pleasure. I hope we have a big hit with this one. Okay, thank you, Mark. Yep, my joy.